All right, welcome to the corner demo. Woo! Here's an example of the final drawing so you understand where we're heading, and I'll see you shortly. Hey guys, this is Heather Joshi. Um, I'm going to walk you through drawing uh, interior space and two point perspective. Um, that's really useful for corners. So, in um, our home, the little TV station is situated in the corner. Um, so, no two point perspective would be good for drawing this corner. Good for not exactly obeying that perspective because we're facing it directly but um, also be helpful for drawing the crate which is what's just kind of stuck up against the wall as well um, materials we'll need um, I got a mechanical pencil here you can use a normal pencil eraser um, if you're using a normal pencil you'll need your um, um, sharpener and then a pen and a marker um, so, yeah, we're not going to be using the purple or graphite yet. We're just focusing on black and white. That's the only um, thing we'll be thinking about now. Let's start with our drawing. So we'll begin with a gesture for a, just a quick, sketchy impression of what we see in front of us. And we're going to for the rest of the drawing, I'm going to use the TV as a unit. And I'm going to compare everything else to the TV. One eighth the width of the TV. And the thing with the ceiling in this house, so um, it's kind of hard to tell in the video, but this ceiling has a little bit of a slant to it. Um, so I'm just going to use that angle tool to define that edge. So again, we're drawing close up. So see how light I drew? And it's in that first few minutes got the entire composition in there. So um, don't focus on one element. Be sure you're hopping around everywhere and drawing everything in stages at the same time. So I drew the table, a really kind of sketchy initial stage, the TV, sketchy initial stage, crate, ball, sketchy initial kind of stage. I didn't finish any of them, so I'm working on them all at the same time. So I made the gesture. I'm going to make some corrections. So I just want to show you how much of a correction I made. So don't be too loyal to your initial gesture. See how big I made that ball? I had to shave it down based on like how it related to like this kind of empty open area beneath the table. Um, I checked out that empty open area as well. So that's how I drawed up my initial sketch. I'm going to um, apply a two-point perspective to it now. So that's going to help me far as figuring out, um, I guess the table is what I should use for the reference. Draw a diagonal line on a diagonal line. I'm going to run off the paper a little bit. I'm going to draw another one on that same side. So here's something that's going on. That's a problem. So this upper diagonal and that orthogonal. So they're sort of expanding, or I want them to kind of converge at a vanishing point. So I'm going to ch adjust this um, angle to, or edge of the left corner. I'm going to erase some of those sketchy lines so I know which one to um, commit to. So I'm going to test the other edge. I got the same issue to the right side as well. So this is sort of flaring out. Um, I want it to pinch in, so I'm going to imagine lines going on forever and ever. Horizon lines, so based on these lines, I kind of I drew them extended beyond the drawing. So these lines, the deck, um, or horizon line and vanishing point should probably be along the kind of lower, um, third of the drawing or just below the half point halfway point um, so that's just how you can sort of find your two point perspective so just draw what you see use your angle tool and then think about those orthogonals and how they must converge to just make those adjustments so your drawing seems more lifelike so let's draw and there's the gesture 
just for drawing. And if I move on to adding the, um, the pen, the marker, and um, fleshing out some of those details. So um, just kind of use ink pen, marker pen, um, my corrected gesture. Um, you can see now the line weight is pretty uniform or it's the same. Um, we don't want that for the final drawing. We want some line variety. I'm going to add the wires and the outlets and such right now. drawing with some of those wiry details, toy box, um, still the line weight's the same. And the ball has these really nice um, ridges on it that work as a cross contour, so I'm going to um, definitely incorporate those because that will give the ball more volume. And my mistake does tend to happen, so um, I'm just looking at the ball and I notice that there's um, deeper kind of shadows at the top underneath the table. So I'm going to make some really thick cross contours and I'll stand in for that shadow. One thing you might notice is um, how I'm leaving a white line. Um, so when dark objects are kind of butting up next to each other, I don't fill them in completely or else it'd be hard to see them. But just leaving a little sliver of just the, the paper um, can help you define those edges. Also notice when I'm um, filling in um, these big areas with black that I'm following the planes of each of the forms. So with the sphere, I'm making kind of rounded arching marks with the t table legs. I'm just doing vertical marks. With the top of the table, I'm creating diagonals that follow that um, foreshortened plane. Um, so um, I guess, yeah, you just be really intentional how you with how you fill in bigger areas on your sheet of paper. So to introduce a new element, um, I just went in, drew the outline for the drop shadow. So it's not exactly perceptual, but it's more of a stylistic choice. Um, I filled in those shapes with vertical lines, um, which was beneficial because they're structural. Vertical line would make sense anywhere it hit on the wall. So um, I guess in order to distribute the visual weight, um, I brought some of those like drop shadows up in the ceiling, created some texture to kind of counteract the, the texture of the floor, and um, yeah, that's the um, final drawing there. And also, um, instead of just having that big black blank screen, I decided to add some reflections and then the um, little lamp um, within that screen as well. Um, so I guess it, yeah, maybe reflections are a bit of a challenge, but just you know, imagine that they're shapes and you're going to translate them and put them on a flat sheet of paper. But um, yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks so much for watching it.